Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Summer of STEAM 2019. We're starting off with S, which is science. Today we're going to be making edible water bottles. You will need sodium alginate and calcium lactate. I got ours from a kit on Amazon and I'll link it in the description. You'll need bowls and water, forks or whisks, spoons, and a scale. The first step is to add one teaspoon of sodium alginate to a bowl. Now mix the sodium alginate with one cup of water. With a fork or a whisk, it may take a long time to get all of the clumps incorporated. If you have a blender on hand, it'll speed up the process. Just remember to pour it back into another bowl. Now, weigh out five grams of calcium lactate in a different bowl. Remember to tar your scale to zero. Now mix the calcium lactate with four cups of water. Careful because the powder is very, very fine. So you might want to pour it from a very short distance instead of from high up like I did. The calcium lactate should dissolve in the water without using a blender, so just take your time and make sure that you get all of the clumps. Let both solutions sit for 15 minutes. Now for the fun part, scoop from the sodium alginate solution into the calcium lactate solution and see what happens. You should begin to see membranes form around the spoonfuls of sodium alginate that you put into the solution. These are our edible water bottles. Play around with adding different amounts to get different sizes. Once you've made as many water bottles as you want, it's time for you to scoop them out. I found that a slotted spoon worked best for this. Check out all the different shapes and sizes of edible water bottles that you've created. Before we give the edible water bottles a taste, let's look at the science behind them. So we added two different chemicals, sodium alginate and calcium lactate. Let's see how they interact. When combined, the calcium from the calcium lactate replaces the sodium from the sodium alginate. Unlike sodium, calcium can form two bonds instead of one. This means that more molecules can then link. As more and more molecules link together, you end up forming a polymer. And it's this polymer that makes up the material that forms the outside of your edible water bottle. Now that we know the science behind it, it's time to give the water bottles a taste. Here we go. So they aren't the best tasting when it's just water inside them, but if you added a little bit of juice, I'm sure they taste amazing. Please do send me all of your not disgusting edible water bottle recipes. I really want to try some out. You can send these recipes to me at stem underscore files on Instagram or on Twitter, or on Facebook at SciFiles522. Thank you so much for watching the first episode of the Summer of STEAM 2019. Be sure to stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share.